Hello everyone! Um, I wanted to show you this. I was on the Sophie and Toffee homepage for the Halloween um, shopping and I went a tiny bit crazy so I wanted to show you all the things that I ordered and there's quite a lot in there so I'm gonna put this to the side and then I'm just going to take one piece out at the time so you can see um, let's have a look there was uh, three things in here that I ordered special before this um, and I wanted to show you these as well so that they actually ended up in that bag as well but they are not from the same um, order so let's see here this is um, a tiny pot with a lid I like that these are 3d pieces so we have to try this one one day I think I can do something really cool with this so that's a tiny pot with a lid on this is a cupcake liner mold so that we can make the liners of the cupcakes also really cool let's see what we got here that was um, the Camelon um, powder or how you say that um, this was a gift you got if you were among the first hundred people that ordered on the homepage. So this one is quite awesome. So they are uh, going from one color to another. I think this is gold going to purple. I actually think they're all kind of going to a purplish color. Chameleon. Ch chameleon? green maybe into black I'm not sure and this one looks like a red and green and the last one is a purple oh that's some nice colors so I'm looking forward to try these out so I'm just gonna put that in the box and place that to the side for now. Next one is a frying pan, a big one and a really tiny one. I think we can use both of them for 1 to 12. Um, so I will use them one day. This, These three was from the first oh, little buy I made. I just popped them in there because I just got these a week ago and I got the other one today. Uh, so this one is a tray with uh, three compartments in there. I thought that could be really fun to uh, make something out of. Then I have a, uh, I think it's hard to see, but that is a basket, a woven, woven, woven basket. That's hard to say. I think that's gonna be uh, awesome to uh, have fun with. Here we have a big perfume bottle. Um, I thought I could use that for something funny. Um, it's not gonna be hollow on the inside, but um, that doesn't really matter. I think we can do something fun with that also. Here we have three tiny domes uh, in three different uh, sizes. Really. A uh, small, a medium, and a little bigger one. Um, and I was thinking about making something uh, really cool with this. I think the small domes here are potential for something really awesome. Then there is a crystal art gel. That this is black. This is a UV resin, and uh, I like the black one in this one because I um, find the black really pretty. Uh, and it uh, hardens very well. Normally when I mix a black it's not hardening that good when it's UV resin. So uh, I like this one. I needed that. Then we have um, 
uh, not that easy to see, but it's a uh, mold of bells. So there's one, two, three, four, five uh, sizes of a bell in here. So you can make Christmas bells, decorations and stuff like that. Um, and again, I think that could work pretty good with 1 to 12. Let's see what more. Um, this is not 1 to 12, but I thought it was so pretty. This is a hollow flask with a little heart on the top and a bottom uh, where you can uh, put things in there if you want to. Um, yeah, I just thought that this was looking really cute. So I just wanted this and I might make something in this later today in this video. Let's keep on going. This is a uh, gloss. This is supposed to be uh, put over your done work and make uh, the surface really glossy. I'm not sure how it works so I will have to look into that before I use it. But um, we need to try that out one day. Then I got this. These are tiny bit, uh, tiny small clamps that you can make uh, for notice, uh, small uh, remembering pieces of paper and stuff like that. To do list, that's the name of them. Um, so you can make these small clamps here, and then of course these pieces to. Put the clamps together when they're all done. I thought that was a cute idea. Um, let's see, there's even more molds in here. So here there is a um, marmalade jar. It's a round jar with a tiny lid too, so the jar and the lid. And the bottom of it I think. I really don't know what this part is. I need to look into that one day. Um, but that's gonna be fun to do something with. Let's place that under there. Uh, and I see a mold more. <laughs> that's another uh, GM uh, drawer. And this one is a square. Again with the lid. And I think it's a bottom. Um, if you know what this part is for, then please tell me. I would really much appreciate that. So I got that one as well. Um, let's see. And then I got this big mold for coasters. I make these uh, tangled squares on my own other channel and I thought it could be cool to put it into a coaster. So I got this mold for it. Um, I think that was all the molds. Then I got a UV resin, it's a 200 gram, a big one, because I use a lot of it. And I got a big potion of crystal epoxy resin. It's a two part, a one to one ratio. Um, so that I have for these um, coasters here when I get to do them. And the last thing in here is supposed to be some kind of mold putty to make molds with, if I understood that right. So I will have to uh, research a bit to see how that worked. It's working. But that is all the things that I got. That is quite a lot. Uh, and no, I'm not uh, affiliated or anything with Sophie and Toffee. I just really, really love their product. So I paid for all this myself in the Halloween sale. But if they want to sponsor one video for me one day, I would not have anything against that. That could be really awesome. So let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen molds here. It was a lot of money but it is definitely worth it. Um, I will pack all this away and then we might make this one just because we can and I, um, I'm looking forward to see what I can do with this. So here is the mold that we are going to try out right now and I am going to take some of this powders and um, 
I'm gonna use that in the top of the mold. So I'm just going to take a little of it and smear it into the mold. I also put a little of it on the top of this thing that goes inside of the mold. And then I am going to put this mold together with some clamps. This way the mold can also stand by itself when the resin has been poured in there. I used the epoxy resin for this, so I took one part of A and one part of B and mixed that really good together here in this cup. And I added a little glitter for mm, just a sparkle. Then I carefully pour it into this mold, uh, making sure that it is reaching the little heart on top of this dome. And I am filling it up till around the halfway point on the mold. Then I carefully take this inside uh, thing and place it down into the mold and just making sure it sits right. And I am pouring some resin into this little uh, bottom piece here. After I turned off this video I actually decided to put in a little bit of white ink in there in the bottom here just to make it a little more interesting. And then I left it for two days to harden. Then it was time for demolding and this little plate was easy to get out. And it looked quite good, only this little piece that I had to cut off. And now for the dome itself, it was a little more tricky to get this out. And then I'm just opening up the mold very carefully. And oh no, I have this big blob right there. Um, I will have to go and cut that off. I just took some really um, good pliers that I have for my resin printer and I actually used that to cut it off. It was still a little um, soft to the touch. And then I used this uh, new thing to make sure you could not see the connection between the two parts here. And of course, give the bottom part where I uh, cut off this uh, extra rim and I sanded it a bit. And here is the result. A little uh, dome on a little tray or a little tray with a dome. I actually think it turned out really cute, even though that it is like half a centimeter uh, less in the height than it actually should. And you can use it to store your rings if you are not having them on there and then you will be able to find them really quick again. That was fun. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.